It was a Walther. It was a Walther P22, um, which is a 22 caliber uh, weapon. Uh, it's a very small weapon. There, there, no law enforcement agency would ever issue this weapon because it's uh, it's very small. Um, mainly used for target practice, and uh, you know uh, we've probably we've sold nearly 30 of them in the past year. And uh, it is a popular weapon for target shooters, and, and, uh, and that's primarily what the weapon is used for. Joe purchased the weapon from our website, and uh, at that point we have to send it to a, uh, a federally licensed dealer in uh, the state of his residence in Virginia, and that's what we did. We verified, uh, we get a, a, a licensed copy from the dealer. We verify that with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms before ever shipping anything out, and we send it to the dealer. Uh, in Virginia. Uh, Cho would have then picked up the uh, the firearm from that dealer and uh, filled out all necessary federal paper, uh, federal and state paperwork and uh, had to do the background check at that point. Uh, he could have used any number of, uh, of ways to uh, to do what he did and, and, and you know the, the real thing to, to focus on right now is is the the victims and their families and, and and uh, I encourage everybody to go to Virginia Tech's website, and I also have links on my website to uh, make a donation to the Memorial Fund, and I personally did, and I, uh, I would like to see uh, more people do that because it's just a central strategy of uh, huge proportions. We're, we've uh, made ourselves available at every, uh, every turn and will continue to as long as, as, long as they need us. Uh, what specifically did the Bureau of um, Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms want to find out from you? What sort of information were they looking for? They were looking for any uh, contact information that we may have had and, and um, any uh, information that uh, they were they may not have been aware of, and we provided all that information to them at that time. What's right now, I'm, I, you know, my main concern is, is with the victims and their families at this point, and, and uh, I'm really, you know, I'm just heartbroken and, and shocked about the whole scenario.